Welcome to day number two of the 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers. Today, we're gonna be focusing on inventory tracking in Excel. Today's dataset comprises of product quantities distributed throughout three different warehouses. And I have to tell you guys to stick here with me till the end today, because in the end, we'll have a special interactive surprise in the final result. On the top of our dashboard, we can see a pivot table. It has actual and previous year quantity of products. And we can also see that there is a manually calculated column that deals with variants. Conditional formatting is then used on this column to help us better understand the amount of the variants. This is pretty great. However, the color palette is definitely too wide. Having something as simple as a green and red visualization of the variances would really help us a lot more and properly scaled would even be IBCS compliant. Another point to keep in mind is that data tables like this without any visual representation can be very hard and complex to understand. So answering a specific question from a table like this without it being sorted in the right way can usually be very difficult. Just asking, have you liked the video yet? Don't forget to and subscribe because tomorrow we have another template for you. So before we tackle this and change the visualization, let's first take a look at the trend charts. They were put here with good intentions and they tried to add context to the number by comparing it with previous year. However, because of the use of multiple colors, a little bit too much clutter and different scaling, they can be very hard to understand clearly. Simply visualizing this same data with Zebra BI charts, we can solve all of these problems. Zebra BI will automatically calculate the variances between the actual and previous year numbers, and by adhering to the IBCS standards, it will only use the most saturated colors for these variances. This change will make it so that the chart will become a lot more clear and easily understandable. Another important point here is that with Zebra BI, we support small multiples. So if we group the data and simply show it with Zebra BI, we can go from three different visualizations to only one, making our reports run faster, but we also solve the problem with scaling. Now that we have everything in a single Zebra BI visual, everything is scaled to pick pixel perfection. And now we'll change the pivot table to a structure chart by using Zebra BI tables. By using Zebra BI tables, we can also add a graphical representation of our actuals, giving us a better understanding of what our product dynamic is. And of course, just like with charts, we also get the automatically calculated and color-coded variances, giving us a holistic view on our products. And now for the best, most magical part that you've been waiting for. You may have noticed that in the initial report, we had a filter allowing us to slice our data. However, with Zebra BI, we don't need this anymore because we have cross visual filtering, just like in other tools like Power BI. This now enables us to get a comprehensive understanding of each of our product's stock with just a single click. So thank you guys for watching. This was day number two and you know the drill. If you want the template, you can find it in the description below. But definitely don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video and come back tomorrow for another new awesome template.